Well, in a lot of ways, did this game feel kind of like your whole career struggle in the first part of it? You going late and obviously it didn't end the way you wanted to, but were there some similarities there? Yeah, I guess I guess you can put it like that. I never looked at it like that, but yeah, it's kind of how it was. And uh, just trying to, I guess, keep rebounding from, from uh, not winning or not being successful at first. Talk about uh, Clay's disappointing win, uh, loss, excuse me. You know, coach was in here very emotional about it. Uh, you know, you guys are a really tight knit group. Just talk a little bit about your emotions right now. I, I, has it been able to sink in? You know, you've been out of the game for about 45 minutes now. Just, just what are you going through right now? Yeah, it's tough. You know, you expect to win, and just, I think the progress that we've made in, in the last year or so, in the last I guess two years, we've done so much to get to opportunities like this and to really follow through and make a name for ourselves and it's just it's kind of it's just not fun coming up short you know uh, I think the guys put a lot of time and energy into it and they expect to win and when you don't it's just uh, kind of get down but I think we'll, we'll be able to rebound and just keep playing. Could you take us through those last two plays of the overtime third down and four I guess and then fourth and three what you were seeing and uh, exactly what took place? Yeah I, I messed up on the third down, I got a, a misread, and so I thought we were running something else, and we weren't. And then the fourth down is just uh, a power play that we ran, and um, I guess the guys did a good job in that play. Colby, would you talk about the difference in the offense in the first compared to the, the second, three points in the first, 38 in the second, and just what kind of clicked in the second half? Um, I think we just came out with, we had nothing to lose in the second half. I think at first we came out and I didn't throw the ball like I should have, like I was being not hesitant, but I think trying to be safe at first. And then I think the second half, yeah, we just came out and uh, kind of played like we know how to play. And we didn't second guess anything. We just played um, how we were coached and I think it just paid off. How did you handle the emotions of not only carrying the streak coming into this game, but but the BCS implications that, that were on the line? Yeah, you hear a lot about it and stuff. I think um, just our team and myself, we've done a good job of being pretty focused on, on the task at hand and just to worry about this game because we knew they were a good Utah State team. And um, you hear about it though a lot in the, in the news and the press. But yeah, I think our team has just a, done a great job of trying to stay focused and worry, worry about week to week basis and the, the team we're playing. Did you guys notice the fellows in the orange bowl jackets walking around before the game? Yeah, Coach Dyke said earlier in the week that they knew we were going to, or we knew they were going to be there. So we had kind of anticipated it, but it's pretty cool just to have such a big bowl bid or bowl people come to your game. But uh, yeah, so I guess it had a little pressure, but not much. There's still got a lot going on the next, you got San Jose State in the bowl game. So there's still a lot to play for, clearly. Yes, sir. It's, I think that's the best thing about our team is we know that we have a lot to play for. You know, it's hard to get nine wins in college football, let alone get to the double digits. So I think we really got to, um, like Coach says, we have a 24-hour rule where we can sulk and, and pout. But I think once that 24 hours is up, we got to focus on the task at hand, which is San Jose State. In Coach some Michigan. Way, go ahead, Coach. In some ways, did, did throwing the interception there, did, did that take any pressure off of you? Because we talked about it Monday after Monday. Yeah, it's, uh, I didn't worry too much about it. It just happened. They had a, they had a good defense, and uh, a lot of credit to them for the play at that, at that point. But I think, uh, I guess once the record was broken, it was like, all right, you don't feel as much pressure, and it's still not fun to throw an interception. But uh, yeah, they just made a good play. Coach, Coach mentioned the difference between this game and Texas A&M game of being pretty much national stage on the top and then having a bit of a letdown. What can you learn from something like this, the, the feeling you're going through, the second half offense, first half offense, the defense, and everything? What can you learn from this? Yeah, I think we can learn that we have to come out um, like we, I guess we weren't relaxed, we were relaxed maybe. We've got to come out more on, on fire and more fiery as a team and uh, I think that will help us in the future as we play. We can't come out and think that since we've been, for, as an offense, we, like we've been putting points on the board so it's just automatically going to happen. I think we got to stay focused and know that they're going to compete just as hard as we are and so we really have to come out focused so we can, we can 
by all four quarters and sent it just to half. Cool. What did it feel like coming off the field, Colby, there with you seeing your senior teammates, you know, heading back up to that tunnel, heading up the hill that last time? It had to be on the right. Yeah, it's tough, you know. It's just uh, this group of guys is an awesome, awesome group of people that now it's basically like my family. And it's, uh, it's been a fun five years that I've been around all of them. It's tough to, to see them like that, but I just know how they are. Uh, it's like I'm a person that I know that we'll have each other's back and my back through all this stuff that has been going on. So it's, it's never a good feeling, but I know how close of a team we are. So I guess that makes me feel more comfort. What is it about this team's makeup that you guys have proven you can compete with some of the best teams in the country. Why is that? I mean, the defense gives up a lot, but the, the way this offense is built, do you think that's a key in why you guys can, can really compete with anybody because you can score with anybody? Yeah, I think we can score with a lot of people. Uh, but at the same time, I think the defense does, does a good job in, in getting us the ball, and special teams also does a, a good job in, in uh, turning the field, basically, with, with uh, yeah, the special team so it's more of a team effort coming from an offensive player. I think uh, we feel that we can score with anyone, and um, we just have great camaraderie, and uh, I think that's what makes it special is we don't say it's just the offense or just the defense for the team, and I think that's how we've gone about this whole year. Have you seen Coach? I mean, you know, obviously I haven't been here every game, but a couple years ago I've seen him emotional, but not – as emotional as we saw him today, was this as emotional as you've seen him after a game? Yeah, I think I think just because he's been here the longest and he knows this group of people we have and the character of our team, this is a truly close team. And I think that's what makes makes it so tough is he, he knows how bad we want it and uh, just where we came, where we are now, it's a huge, huge improvement. And so I think he just realizes that uh, I think people are hurt, and he just is, he's part of the team, you know. He's one of the guys, and so I think it's just tough on all of us. Anything else? All right.